What is up, Cowboys Nation? Good morning, your boy Mike Tag here. First of all, thank you everyone who tuned in last night. It was a great show. I want to apologize. Phone system, for whatever reason, was not working. I had it checked out Monday. It was working fine. I didn't check it the day of the show, and that is on me. You do this assumption that everything's going to be all right, and there was a little hiccup with the soundboard. So I've got that fixed. We're going to do a call-in show next week because we love talking to you guys, man. That's what makes the show great. So appreciate everyone tuning in. Make sure you hit that subscribe, like, share. Been getting a lot of new subscribers. So, you know, can't thank you guys enough for that. We got Uncle Cheech on a hot streak. So he gave his picks for this week uh, last night as well. So we're going to enter back into that contest to try and get somebody, some all, some money, some stuff before the holidays. So make sure you guys tune into that as well, uh, typically on Monday. So just wanted to, you know, kind of piggyback off some of the stuff. We had a lot of great conversation last night talking about this Cowboys team and, you know, you looking back, right? So we look back at where they're at going into the bye week. Are they going to be able to get this thing figured out? I think a lot of us just have a lot of doubt and rightfully so. It doesn't sound like they're going to make any moves to try and improve this team uh, via trade before the deadline, anything like that. So you're basically going in with what you got. What you see is what you get. And I think that has a lot of Cowboys fans concerned when you look at different parts of this team, just focusing on the offense. Because to me, the offense is kind of where the trouble starts um, because you need the offense to kind of keep the pressure off the defense, especially with all the injuries. And, you you know, I look back at that Detroit game and it was seven to three. We drove down the ball, you know, down the field the first time, got a field goal. We drove back down again. And then we had that interception, which was, you know, just a great play by Detroit. Don't take nothing away, but not the best throw by Dak Prescott. Kind of kind of didn't hang it out there to hit the corner of the end zone where it was kind of CDs or nothing. But it just doesn't seem like CD and Dak are, 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 are hitting the same stride. They just seem off a little bit. I don't understand why. Makes no sense to me. These guys have been playing together, I mean, their whole career. Uh, so they should be in sync enough, but some of the body language, some of that stuff, it's just, to me, it's contagious and they've just got to use this bye week to get back on the right track. And I think the, they're the, you know, those two are the engine, you know, for this offense. Uh, the offense is going to go as they go. If they're grooving, it just feeds everyone else. The other thing that's really important to me is the running game. And, you know, Rico's had little bit of success here and there, but the opportunities just aren't there. And it just concerns me when I hear Jerry Jones, you know, talking about, well, we don't want to use Rico too much injuries. We want to keep him fresh. And it's like, if you've got that mindset, then maybe you should have got another running back. You should have got another running back to be more of your, your lead dog and just use, you know, Rico as the two and you can use Zeke as, as your, as your short yardage and, and goal line, if you want, however way they decided to do it, but they didn't and doesn't look like they're going to add a running back. So what we got is what we got and do we have enough? And that's, you know, if I'm being honest with you, I just don't see this running game ever getting to that point where they're going to be able to count on them week in and week out. I hope I'm wrong, pray I'm wrong, but just what I've seen the first six weeks, it just, doesn't look like they're going. Now, the offensive line has a part to play in that, too. You're starting two rookies. They're going through, especially on Guyton being a left tackle, going through some, you know, some growing pains, which you'd expect. That's why I'm not really going to give any of the rookies any, any, you know, any slack or any, uh, any issues because I just, you know, I'm not going to be hard on them because they're going to get better as the year goes on. It was brought up in the show. Uh, our man Ultra said, you know, our we've, we've had more rookies take snaps uh, than any team in the NFL. That sounds great, but it, it's not really that great if you're trying to win today. You know what I mean? Because we don't have a bunch of first round picks that are out there. You got a lot of guys that, you know, fifth round, sixth round picks that are getting a lot of snaps. And I think it's good. And I thought they had a really solid draft. But this is where we say. Jerry is the GM. Not so good. You lost a lot of guys. You didn't bring any depth in to help. You just basically relying on undrafted free agents or um, or your draft picks. And that's where these growing pains are going. And that's where if they can hang around, maybe it pays dividends down the end. If they can stick around and looking at 
looking at the Cowboys and looking at their schedule, you know, just focusing on the next six weeks. Obviously, we have a bye week, so we got five games. And looking at the division, you got Dallas at San Francisco at Atlanta coming right out of the bye. That's two road games, but the Cowboys are playing really good on the road. So maybe, maybe that's not a bad thing. And then you're looking at Philly and the Texans at home, Texans on Monday night, your boy's going to be there. So they got to win that game. They can't do me, do me wrong two, two times in a row. Um, and then they're going to be at Washington. So three of their next five games are on the road where they're playing better, but they're playing four potential playoff teams within those five games. So that's, that's going to be, that's going to be a lot to ask. And if you throw Philly as a potential one, you could be talking about five, five. Every team they're playing is going to be is in playoff contentions if you're being realistic. I'm just giving Philly a hard time. But Philly, they're at they've got they've got four road games of the next six because they don't have that bye week. So they're three and two, but they've got at the Giants, at the Bengals, Jaguars, which that's pretty much a gimme. But you never know. You never know what with, with them if they get hot. At the Cowboys, Washington at home, at the Rams. Maybe the Rams get a little healthier. That could be a different game for them. Uh, Washington, this is this is where the trouble is with, with, with trying to catch up. Now, the Cowboys are only one game out, but they've got the Panthers and Bears at home, at the Giants, Pittsburgh, at Philly, and then, of course, uh, they're, they're playing us at home. So if you look at that, they're playing three of their next six games against divisional teams. That is a good thing because they could be canceling each other out within our division. That's the, if you're going to hold, hold your hat on anything, the Cowboys um, haven't lost any division games and they're only one game out of the division. So if you have any string of hope that they can just hang around until they figure it out, if they figure it out, that's what you had on. The Giants got Philly at home, at Pittsburgh, Washington at home, at Carolina. Um, they got their bye week, and then they got Tampa. So they're going in two and four. So this division is wide open. Um, so that's where you can kind of, if this offense and Dak Prescott and these guys can kind of get going, you get your defense healthy, you, you know, you 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 can you can make something happen. I mean, you know, like I, I keep bringing it up, but I mean, there was the 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 Packers last year were two and five, and they got they got rolling at the right time. Um, the three and three record doesn't kill me. What kills me is the way they're losing. They're just getting. It's not even being competitive. So it tells me mentally they're not a really tough team because when things are going well or they're hanging in there, they're good. But if things go bad and they don't get off to that fast start, it seems to just snowball and they end up just getting uh, annihilated. And I don't want to use the word quit. I don't want to use this, that, but it just doesn't seem right. So hopefully this Cowboys team, and I know we're talking a lot of Jerry and Jerry's Jerry. We beat that. Uh, you know, we beat that, that down enough. Uh, I'm focused on the players on this on the team. I'm focused on who's going out there. The key is got to get the defense healthy, and we got to get the running game going on offense. The offensive line has got to play better, but our running game we got to be committed to the run, and we got to be successful with the run. And then, of course, getting Dak and CE going again is only going to make it better. So we've got a week to just kind of. Chill out. Hopefully, these guys kind of get their shit together, for lack of a better word, and get back to playing. You, you know, there's still a lot of talent on this team. There was, the, you know, there's a ton of all pros that were that are on this team. They are just not playing as a team, and it just doesn't. The body language is what what gets me the most. They just don't seem so unified when you when you see these other teams. And these other defenses and these other offenses, man, they're they're jetic and going. It just seems like the Cowboys are very lethargic, especially at home, which really doesn't make a whole lot of sense because you think you should be amped up. You're at home, you're in a comfortable environment, you've got the crowd behind you, but it just doesn't seem like it's that way. Maybe they're just going to be the road warriors, and if that's the way it is, 
I'd rather they, – they go in the playoffs on the road every week. Okay, fine. I mean, they've known that they can win on the road. They beat a good Pittsburgh team on the road. You know, they beat Cleveland, which turned out to be – not. you know, at the time we thought Cleveland was going to be all right. Now they don't look like they're so great. And you won a divisional game on the road, which is really critical. Um, but they're going to get road tested the next two weeks. And, you know, I don't want to do the records or anything like that, but I'm looking at these five games. They've got to – they got to win three of them. I mean, and find the three wins is that's not that, you know, maybe at Washington, maybe uh, Philly at home. I think that's a good opportunity for them to win Texans at home. That's not going to be an easy game for them at all. So they're going to have to this San, at San Francisco at Atlanta. They got to win one of them. They got to win one of them. Then if they can beat Philly at home, which you figure they'd split at Philly. So if they get Philly at home, that puts them two and one uh, with two more to go. They they have an opportunity to kind of get there. And that's the reality of it. This team is just going to be, which I, you know, I talked about, it's going to be an up and down roller coaster ride. They beat San Francisco. Cowboys Nation is, I guarantee to you, it's going to be back to the Super Bowl or whatever. Uh, if they lose, it's just going to be continued doom and gloom. But it's this, this with the Cowboys. This and this. It's never, it's never in the middle. I try and stay even keel. It's it's six games in. I'm frustrated. It's I'm not really frustrated with the record. I'm like I said, I'm more frustrated with the performance. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts on it. But more importantly, man, hit that like button, that thumbs up if you're hanging out in the cave. Hit that subscribe. Go back. We've got a lot of other great interviews with a lot of great Dallas Cowboys of the past that you guys can definitely check out. And um, other thing is we do have this great autograph app that we're partnered with and it's a great partnership and they, um, it rewards your fandom. So basically you earn points. Uh, you download the app. It's free reference Mike tag when you, when you sign up and it pulls all your news, all your data from all your different teams, whether it be major league baseball, football, college football, um basketball i think they got hockey on there now it's co-founded by tom brady there's a lot of heavy hitters in the sports world that are part of this um this app and you can you can get rewarded for for using it for for doing what you normally do which is going through and looking at different articles watching you know podcasts and videos things like that uh they're giving away a dak prescott signed frame jersey they gave away a cd lamb one a little bit earlier so whatever your team is, they do have giveaways that they're doing that. And you earn those points. And as you earn those points, you can use those for entries into a lot of the great giveaways. So definitely something you want to check out. Uh, it's free. You can go to autograph. All you got to do is type in autograph. You'll see that little A is black and yellow. Uh, sign up. It's free. Reference Mike tag. And then go reward your fandom. And like I said, it doesn't have to be for the Cowboys. If you hate the Cowboys, you can. You get there's plenty of other teams that you can go you can go uh, check out. So again, I appreciate it. We're gonna be live on Sunday. Greg and I are doing our typical uh, Sunday show, so make sure you guys check that out. And again, hit that subscribe, hit the like, hit the share. More importantly, thank you all, man. It's been a lot of fun. It's crazy when the Cowboys are struggling. You know the interest peaks up. I don't know if it's haters, you know, wanting to see the demise of Cowboys Nation. Or if it's Cowboys Nation, we just need to console each other a little bit. You know, maybe we need to do a little bit more of that. But whatever it is, definitely appreciate all the love, all the support. We will see you live again on Sunday, if not sooner. Hit that alert because you like now, you never know when your boy's going to be coming in, coming in to see what's happening in the cave. So take care. I'll see you, Cowboys Nation. Give me somebody that's hungry. Give me somebody that's hungry. I need somebody. <laughs>